coaches that live just watching while we while we train the guys during this winter workouts, and they've noticed the most. We've been with the players the most, so it's hard for us to see it. But our football coaches have, have noticed it the most. They've seen them less frequently than we have. What are some of the biggest challenges in starting a weight program? You know, there haven't been any. They're, they're, it's been a lot of fun. We kind of like the idea of, of being the first ones to teach these lifts to them. Uh, the power thing, squat and bench, and, and the pull-ups and the carryovers. So I, I guess the challenge would be just be patient. That would be the biggest challenge. And that was easy for us because the kids are working so hard. You know, they're doing a fantastic job. So for us, it's just, you know, hey, guys, slow down. It's going to come. It's more of a challenge for them to just not rush the Because they hear what other guys at our schools are left in. And I said, don't worry about those guys. We're going to be strong on the field. It's a slow cook process. We're going to take our time and do it right. By this point, Craig, do you see guys getting more comfortable with the movements themselves? And or is it coming easier to them? I would see guys, other guys correcting each other, which makes which makes us really happy. You know, so a drill, you know, like a pull or, or you know, a press, guys are saying, you know, make sure you get your hips through or make sure you get low enough on the squat, telling each other, which, which is neat for me. So they're starting to coach each other a little bit. That's the neat thing about it. They don't have to look at us every day and hear the same thing over and over again. Some of the players are taking over and doing a good job of that. So I would say, yeah, they are more comfortable. How, how does this compare to other places in the country in terms of facilities? I mean, I know this isn't done yet, but, but how, how does it compare size, that kind of thing? I would say overall, just the whole football facility, with it being right in the middle of campus and near where our players live and eat, right in the, right in the centralized location in campus, and everything being here, the, Five practice fields, academic support in the same building, all the football coaches here are fully accessible for the players uh, is tremendous. I've never seen it like in my life. The weight room is now going to be right up there with the rest of the whole facility for football as far as location and just as far as a huge upgrade to it. So I think it's going to be by far the best in the country. I can't see another one being better than this. Absolutely. How comes up with the ideas for the different things we're doing here, whether it's the layout of all the stuff, the branding, the sayings up on the, the walls and stuff? Is that all you, or is that kind of a collaboration? Absolutely. Not. I'm not the head football coach here, so I go down to see him and say, Coach, what words do you want up here? And, and you know, Coach wants you know certain words to be pillars of the program, so we thought, what better than put around the pillars of the weight room where the guys are laying the foundation of season. So those are his words, but our program works, you know, and, and you know, just finish, you know, team first graduate, you know, honesty, integrity, so hard work. And so the guys see those every time they go to a certain side, they're seeing a different word. And, you know, Penn State, Nittany Lions, football, that's why we're here. You know, and so the kids, every time they look, they see something. And some of the kids had some important. We got the American flag there, and one of our guys, Mike Mattis, you know, coach, just put the American flag on that pride. So the next thing we have that one laid up. So he's pretty excited about that. Kim, I think you have enough American flags to win. So we we'll get 10 more of this week. But that was his suggestion right there. So. Hey, Craig, physically, what did you think that when you saw the guys here, what did they need to work on the most? Just depending on each position. You know, I thought with our with our linemen, we just need to get in there and doing the heavy movements. We thought that would, if we just punched the clock with those guys, we put on some solid mass. But, you know, our players, when we got here, were very disciplined, did a hard, did, did really worked hard before the guys were too. So they were doing a good job. I think this changeover was great. For them. I think it was something new. I think they were excited because it was also something old too. A lot of these guys did use this in high school. So they really took on that. You know? But I think each position has a different need, absolutely. And some of the older players, it's neat for us because we're still developing those guys. Where if you get to a program and you're in it for four years, at the end of the line, you're really peaking out. And then you start doing things about the NFL and doing combine training. But for older guys, we're really teaching them this. So everybody's. Craig, why come here? You know, you're at a successful program in South Carolina. Why, why come here? Just to be closer to home? Or well, that's 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 an easy answer uh, for me. Just because I felt South Carolina, you know, they, they did such a good job as a whole program, and I thought, you know, they're doing great. They're going to keep doing great. And I'm proud of what we did there. Steve Spurrier is a great coach. I love working for him. I thought this was a new challenge. I think Billy O'Brien is the perfect guy for it. I think Penn State. I mean, we're, we're all lucky to be here, but I think Penn State's really lucky to have Coach O'Brien here. You know, I think he's really took this on and grabbed the other opportunities. He said, I want this one, and he grabbed it. And I said, you know what? I, I want to get on that too. And, and getting in at the ground level is, is really fun, especially with a strength program where you're really starting from scratch. I thought that was pretty neat.